Hey, old snowmobile fans, look at this beauty. Look at the color. <laughs> this is made by the Mallard Travel Coach Corporation, West Bend, Wisconsin. Now, if you look at the hood, the front of the decal has got a picture of a duck or something, a goose. Many people will recognize that symbol because they made a ton of travel trailers. This is, you, you know, the pull behind the car type. And uh, like many other manufacturers, they wanted to keep their guys busy during the off season. So here is the result. Uh, this uh, Mallard is a 1968. It is their, pr it is their prototype year. So, uh, so it has some differences than the, the next year, their full production year. Uh, I want to show you some of the unique elements of this machine. First and foremost, the hood, the belly pan, and the tunnel are all fiberglass. The concept here was a complete exterior skin of glass. And uh, 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 <laughs> I guess I should mention there's a lot of hardware underneath the, uh, in the suspension, you know, to hold this all together. But that was the, the theme. Now, what attracted me to this machine was its color, quite frankly. Um, I call it teal, some people call it aquamarine, I don't know what color it is, but it does remind me of cars from the late 50s, early 60s. You know, it has that, that, uh, that look. Moreover, look at uh, some other unique features. Come on in and look at this handlebar. These are bicycle handlebars. And uh, I think they're cute. Look, it's got a bicycle lever for a uh, throttle, and it's got this lovely bolster. Uh, I just think that's uh, cool, cool, cool. And, uh, and then moving on to the back, how many snowmobiles do you know that would have any kind of a treatment like this in the rear end? This tail light here kind of reminds me of, a, I don't know, 65 uh, Chevy Impala or something. So uh, I wanted uh, to secure one of these and uh, was fortunate to you know, be able to, to score that. This is uh, largely original. Uh, you wouldn't call it a survivor. It's not perfect by any means. Um, I know, for example, that I, I, uh, I, I remember painting the skis and uh, doing some other cosmetic stuff, uh, stuff to it. It's got a few dings, dings, but uh, nonetheless, it shows well. In fact, I'll brag now by saying that I took it to the national show and got a first place trophy to come home with. So let's talk about some of the uh, the features of, of this thing. Come on in and we'll we'll pop the hood and uh, you get a sense of, of its architecture. Nothing really special. A JLO engine, 297 cc. It's got an electric start. That's nice. Um, added a primer um, and try to hide it. Isn't that cute? Apex uh, chain case cover. So there's nothing really terribly noteworthy about this uh, this engine bay. But, uh, but uh, it's, it's the style, it's, it's the look of, 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 this, uh, of this thing. Um, then I uh, uh, dropped it off at the uh, World Snowmobile Headquarters Museum in, uh, in uh, Eagle River. You know, this is the, the, the snowmobile museum next to Derby Track, and it resided there a few years. So I've just brought it home, and I am excited to get it in the sunshine again and, uh, and show it off. So let's take a look at, 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 at more of the details on, on this thing. Again, you, you know, the, the, paint, the, the, the skis have been repainted. There's some scuffs here, but it, it's this uh, decal uh, and offset by the, uh, by, the, by the color. Notice they called it a snow wing. I don't know where they got that idea. And, and then on here, again, fiberglass uh, tunnel. What you have in terms of a suspension here is a lot of angle iron, and there's actually car, you know, leaf springs, leaf springs. Um, that that hold uh, this thing up. So, whatever it's it's what they did. Um, now remember that in their in their first production year of 1969, their first real production year, they changed it. Now what's different? No gas tank. In fact, people look at this. They open the hood. They're going around saying, "Where in the world do you add fuel?" Guess what? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine snaps. You flip up the lid and you add fuel. No kidding. The gas tank is horizontal and it uh, it lays on top of the, the tunnel. And uh, that wasn't terribly practical. 
So in their production year, they built a, a model with a big trunk. Most people who think Mallard snowmobiles remember that there's a very large enclosure here with a gas cap right here. So, uh, so that distinguishes th this uh, 68 prototype year from the uh, production models. So come on around, let's continue on our, our little cir circle tour here. And, uh, and uh, so, so anyway, you could see that, that, uh, that uh, the fiberglass pieces were, were, were mounted. It may or may not fit here. Um, this, this thing took a hit. It's a little boogered up right here, but, uh, but that's okay. I wanted to, to uh, show this as, a, as, a, as an original uh, sort of configuration. And uh, I'm, uh, I'm so proud to show you 1968 Mallard Snow Wing.